Thanks, Kim. You know, there's a lot of great stories that come out of Pride Winnipeg every single year, and we're covering a few of them on the show today, but I think I've got the hardest job. i got to go through all these people that are here at the Forks and we're at the parade, and i got to find the top five outfits, costumes, attire, call it what you will. And you know what? It was a tough job. Myself and Michael B. on camera, we went through everything. We compiled all the footage. Here's what we came up with, starting with number five. In at number five, the mascots. There were a number of dogs out on the streets during the day, but the one that stood out wasn't even a dog, and it was a project that wasn't even finished. All I gotta paint his arms to so see you can still see the newspaper. He's not finished, you can see some in his hair too. And there's actually legs that go with it too. But so, I'm no artist, but it almost looks like paper mache. It is, it is. It's all made out of tape and paper. Maybe you can get a whole puppet parade going, right? Like five of my friends or something? That'd be fun, yeah. Holding down the fourth spot is Megan Wilcox. This is her fourth time in the parade, and this outfit didn't take a lot of work. Oh, it didn't take long at all. Really? Yeah, my work <laughs> donated this outfit. I had the wig, I had the eyelashes, I come prepared. Moving to the podium finishers now, we have Allie and Francis with outfits made completely by hand. Probably the bustle, like it was like a lot of work stringing all the beads together. So I'd say all probably about two weeks, maybe a week. Yeah. There were a number of fully dressed and dolled up individuals to look at on Pride Day, but Portia and Anastasia Lamour take home the silver medal not only for their luck, but their efficiency. All together, about two hours, that's doing both of us. Nice. Yeah. Compared to the people I've talked to, you, you're efficient. <laughs> oh, I was up and ready to go. 6 a.m. Coffee's on. Coffee's on. Downstairs, get ready. Ready to go. And in first place, out of all the glamour that filled the parade route and the forks, the winners and the holders of the number one spot are Gloria Booths and Victoria Secrete. It was months in the planning. Uh, we had to order some materials online, so we had to wait for those to show up, and then it was another month of just mentally preparing for it. <laughs> and it was two solid weeks, and culmi cul culminating up till 3.30 a.m. this morning. <laughs> well, it doesn't help when you change your mind there. Like, we've had about three different changes of since concept. we first started. That rounds up the top five, but they certainly weren't the only ones who caught my eye. Here are some honorable mentions. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Mitchell Clinton.